All right, guys, I wanted to take a minute and uh, discuss uh, working with this material safely. Just a few things. Uh, if you're going to work with this material, for those that, of you that don't know, it's G10, which is one of the forms of Gerolite, and it's an epoxy resin that's been reinforced with uh, sheets of continuously wo woven glass cloth. So it's basically fiberglass and epoxy. So it's not something you want to be breathing in. It's not something you want on your skin. Uh, it, it may sound a little sissy, but I, I don't care. Uh, you get it on your skin and it will drive you crazy. It'll get into the pores and it'll itch for days. And so uh, I'm one of those guys. I'm really good about wearing safety glasses. That's about it. I hate wearing gloves. Absolutely hate it. But uh, I wear gloves when I'm working with this stuff just because I hate getting the, the dust into my skin even more. So um, I prefer not to have to wear like heavy coveralls or uh, a hoodie this time of year. So um, something like this is ideal. It's a long sleeve, lightweight t-shirt with a hood. That's really great for me. Um, covers your arms. Like I said, I hate wearing gloves, but uh, I, I get the get like the five or seven mil uh, disposable nitrile gloves. <clears throat> Run a couple uh, wraps of elect electrical tape around your sleeves just to keep anything from getting in there. And then uh, you don't want to be breathing this stuff in. And I don't like wearing these, but I wear them when I'm work working with stuff like this. The uh, the 3M uh, 7500 series. These are pretty popular amongst knife makers. Um, and pretty damn inexpensive uh, in relation to what your health is worth. Uh, make sure that you get a cartridge that's going to uh, cover your ass for <laughs> the stuff that this puts off and you're grinding it. Um, most of the respirators, the cartridges that they come with are not rated for this stuff. Um, and then of course, safety glasses. Uh, if, if you're really concerned about it, then I would say ideally uh, get like heavy set of coveralls or a hooded shirt or a pair of Tyvek coveralls would work well and then a full face respirator or like a PAPA or SCBA even uh, um, I suppose those would be ideal but th this setup works well for me and, uh, and then if you're like me and you don't have hair on your head uh, getting that dust on your scalp oh, it'll drive you crazy so uh, that's why I'm either rocking the, <laughs> the two rag or a baseball hat just to keep the crap off off my head. If you're you know possibly thinking about working with this material I'd recommend you you consider that stuff and uh, or if you're a collector watching these because uh, I'm maybe building one of these for you then you can have empathy for me for having to put all this crap on. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So anyway I just wanted to mention that so we get that out of the way. So alright let's get back to making these things.
Yeah, I think this is a good good time to stop for a minute and talk about what I discussed in the, the video where I was talking about the theory behind Anna like this and saying that guys are emphasizing too much on this and not enough on this. What I really w was trying to uh, get across is that um, if, if you're only shaping a handle like this based on how you think it should look, you're kind of missing the missing the boat because what we're really going for is how how this thing feels in our hand and so um, don't just start hogging away at this thing with no idea where you're going and sort of blindly going along hoping that you're you're going to hit pay dirt at some point stop frequently and check it i mean i <laughs> i've made more handles like this than than any other handle and I still don't um, have this sort of a set procedure where I just go right through to the end and bam, the handle's done. I'm you constantly check that it that it's getting to the point that it feels right in the hand. I've had some guys ask me like, like well, what does that what does that mean? Like, how do you know? And um, th that's a hard one to give a definitive answer to, but my my best answer is uh, you, you'll just know um, when the knife feels right. Um, it, it will just it will just have a certain feel to it where it just feels right. It won't you won't pick it up and think, well, this is hitting me in this spot, or uh, the blade feels really heavy, or the handle feels clunky. You'll just it'll just feel right, and so you constantly check you know on your hands and, and and not just don't just do a death grip like this you know maneuver this thing around do reverse grips you know twirl it around in your fingers get a feel for it um it, the one of the really cool things about a uh, sculpted handle like this with a, a big drop on it and a pretty prominent beak is it allows you to ex to extend the grip and you can come way out here and hold this thing really secure with two fingers so you know check it is it is it secure in your hand like that um, do you have enough of a set of hips on here that it it's gonna be secure in your hand but not so much that it that it's hitting you in the palm of your hand and uncomfortable one place where uh, I, I constantly check on the the width of these hips that's really what's gonna keep Keep this thing secure in your hand for for snap cuts. Uh, if you whip it around and and do a back cut, um, th this is gonna this fat ass on here is what's gonna secure this thing in your hand. And but you don't want to go so you can make it goofy where um, you know yeah it's never gonna come out of your hand, but it's uncomfortable, it's unwieldy, um, or it won't allow you to do other grips like. Uh, one that's easy to overlook is a reverse grip. Uh, if we go way too fat on this, then um, th this will be uncomfortable. And uh, if you noticed, as I'm shaping this thing, I put a crown on the ass end of this. Uh, that's one of the things you see a lot of guys, I think that they miss out on is they just, they may round it over in this plane, but then you look at it, you know, edge on, and it's just flat. Um, why why not crown it it looks better feels better takes away material that doesn't need to be there uh, it avoids having sharp corners out here on the end so um, like i said this is very rough at this point we're not even anywhere close to having this all the way done but it's not too early to be constantly checking it seeing if it feels right in your hand or not <laughs>